I was rejected a lot, I mean, growing up. I was not a great athlete. Compounded with, uh, you know, dyslexia, constant rejection, constant rejection when I was growing up. Can you believe that the Mission Impossible hero has dyslexia? Yes, that's right. Our maverick hero suffers from a learning disorder, or collectively, a part of neurodevelopmental disorders. Tom Cruise Mapotha IV, currently working as an actor, producer, writer, and director, born on July the 3rd, 1962, in Syracuse, New York, is the son of a special education teacher. His family was poor, and he had to move to 14 different schools and communities, rejected every time as he was new. Imagine moving from school to school and always being the new one in the class. That can't be fun at all. We all know how bad the new kid on the block or class gets bullied, don't we? A big shout out to all the kids or nerds like me who got bullied at school. Keep watching to find out. To move forward, we must first know a little bit about dyslexia. Do you sometimes feel like a jolt of electricity passing through your spine? Our brain is made up of nerves, and these nerves carry information from our brain to our body, and vice versa, through electrically charged impulses. So, when someone's brain is wired differently, they develop a group of disorders called neurodevelopmental disorders, which include dyslexia and ADHD. Don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with them. It's just that their brain is wired differently, and they learn differently from other people. Dyslexia is a learning disorder that involves difficulty reading and memorizing due to problems identifying speech sounds and learning how they relate to letters and words, also called learning disability. But since their brain is wired differently, they might also face a lot of other challenges that include lacking in motor coordination and fine motor coordination, difficulty in differentiating between left and right, and, as a kid, they might find it difficult to crawl, and even maintain posture as they move into adulthood. Some develop muscular pain in the spine or leg, or have headaches when they try to learn. No one really knows why that happens, but everyone is different, and they all experience different things. And what's ADHD? ADHD stands for Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, usually diagnosed during childhood, where the child's teacher would constantly complain about how naughty and restless the child is. ADHD includes a combination of persistent problems, such as difficulty sustaining attention, hyperactivity, and impulsive behavior. Students with dyslexia and ADHD have normal intelligence and can do well in school with tutoring or specialized educational aids. They're not dumb, they're just different. Here's a fun fact. Did you know that you have to have an IQ level below 50 to be called dumb or stupid or moron? Did Tom's parents know about his condition? If so, why would they let him do acting? when he can't learn or memorize words. Tom says his mother was his greatest support. He says his mum pushed him into acting and is his greatest fan. Tom, as a kid, used to mimic and enact actors in front of his family to entertain them. And his mum knew from the beginning that Tom's future was in the film industry. After his first play in high school, Tom discovered his passion for acting and went on to join the film industry. It wasn't all that easy for Tom due to his learning disability, but do you know what kept him going? With all of the problems he was facing, one might wonder what kept him going through it all. Keep watching to hear what Tom himself says about this. I love learning and I love life is a well-established fact that he did what he loved the most, but he found it hard to memorize data. How does he deliver his dialogue so smoothly? Is it all a camera trick, one might wonder? 
But Tom said he always tried his best to learn and retain the concept and the lines by adapting various memorizing techniques, including trying out visual memorization, where he would remember the script in bits and portions as images, and he would try to remember the lines by trying to remember how his mouth moves, whilst trying to pronounce it, and so on. But how does one develop these neurodevelopmental disorders? Some of the risk factors include a positive family history of dyslexia or other learning disabilities, if the child is premature or has a low birth weight, or if there was exposure during pregnancy to nicotine, drugs, alcohol or infection, which may alter brain development in the fetus. Hi there, so if you are still watching, chances are you don't have ADHD. But do you want to know if you would be diagnosed with neurodevelopmental disorder? There's no single test that can diagnose them. Several factors are considered, such as your child's development, educational issues, and medical history. How's the home life? Apart from genetic and other factors, environmental factors can put a child at risk of developing dyslexia. If you have been diagnosed with dyslexia, you're not alone. Along with Tom Cruise, there are other successful people who suffer from dyslexia. Kira Knightley, Orlando Bloom, Patrick Dempsey, Whoopi Goldberg, Sher, Bruce Jenner, Jay Leno, Anderson Cooper, Steven Spielberg. So dyslexia isn't even a problem. It can be trained and taken care of. So how does one treat dyslexia? Before we break it to you, don't forget, leave us a like and subscribe to our channel for constant fun and facts. And talking of facts, did you know a fidget spinner was especially made for people who have ADHD? It's said to help them concentrate. That's just a way to help with the restlessness, and not a treatment in itself. To know what is the treatment, you've got to keep watching, my dear friends. Treatment focuses on helping your child in learning to recognize and use the smallest sounds that make up words. Phonemes. Understanding that letters and strings of letters represent these sounds and words, phonics, Practice reading aloud to build reading accuracy, speed and expression. Fluency. Good support and understanding words from parents and relatives could go way beyond any tests and tuition for a child to help them improve. However, there are educational aids one can adapt to teach a child with dyslexia, and they can benefit from it. However, unlike dyslexia, there are drugs doctors would prescribe to keep the symptoms of ADHD at bay, and study methods would be adapted to learn and do better in school. Every child is different, and every child finds their way of tackling this learning disorder by adapting methods that are suitable to them and which help them the most. These were the words from Tom Cruise. So, no matter what you have or don't, it's never a reason to give up. And that's exactly why we are going to shower some extra points on why these neurodevelopmental disorders are not that bad. Dyslexics have a strong memory for stories. Some individuals with dyslexia recall facts as if reading a good storybook, rather than just as a list of random data. Having narrative reasoning on your side may help improve your memory and help integrate contextual information better. Perhaps acting or writing is in your future. Apart from that, due to their brilliant spatial reasoning, they succeed in fields like engineering, industrial and graphic design, and in architecture. One of the most advantageous qualities in many dyslexic people is their ability to think outside the box, which makes their ideas not only fresh, but lucrative as well. So these are just a few out of the many advantageous things a dyslexic person possesses. 
Did you know ADHD is sometimes called a superpower? Yeah, many people view the benefits of ADHD as superpowers because they are additional skills that their neurotypical counterparts don't have, like hyperfocus, which is a state where an individual with ADHD can focus on tasks they enjoy for hours on end. And the outcome is often fabulous. They are often very creative and must be to keep themselves from getting bored because they are people who get bored so easily. They are also great conversationalists. They are so talkative that they can spark an intriguing conversation in most scenarios. They are spontaneous and high on life and always filled with energy. They make life interesting due to their impulsive nature, leaving them enjoyable and long-lasting memories. People with ADHD are not afraid to do whatever they enjoy in that moment. And that's a note to take for all of us. Do what you always love and do it whole. As Tom Cruise said, I love what I do. I take great pride in what I do. And I can't do something halfway. Three quarters, nine tenths. If I'm gonna do something, I go all the way. Oh, well, that's all for today, guys. We'll be back soon. Until then, take care and don't forget to have fun. See ya.